वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स फॉर योर साइंस क्लास दिस इज सेकेंड पीरियड एंड टूडे वी आर डूइंग द सेम चैप्टर दैट इज वॉटर चैप्टर नंबर टेन ऑफ योर साइंस बुक येस्टरडे वी हैड लर्न अबाउट वॉटर वाई इज वॉटर नेसेसरी फॉर अस एंड द लोकल सोर्सेस ऑफ वॉटर एंड टूडे we will discuss the main source of water main natural source of water that is rain and snow so children our topic for today is the first one is rain a major source of water on earth and the second one is snow we all like rain we all like rainy day and rain is a major component of the water cycle and it is most it is the, uh, responsible for most of the fresh water on the earth so rain is very important why because rain is responsible for most of the fresh water on the earth and a uh, water that is very essential for us you know we can't live without water it's very important for our survival on earth and one of the main natural source of water on the earth is rain now children open your book and open this page and read with me rain you must have enjoyed bathing in the rain for that you do not need water from the tap or the bucket you get a natural shower of water from the sky all of us enjoy bathing in rain rain is the most important natural source of water rain is natural source and it is most important source of water lakes ponds and rivers get water mainly from the rain the rivers flow into a sea or an ocean river flow into a sea or in ocean a part of the rain water goes underground underground water is called ground water when rain falls on the earth some part of the rain water that seeps under the soil under the earth is known as ground water ground water is very useful and this water the ground water is used by plants for their growth big plants or small plants small plants has small root and we water these plants we just uh these plants in a pots or in our lawn lawn these small plants we water them regularly and big plants like people neem tree or plants in the forest some big plants their root are deep and they draw water from the ground underground so ground water is essential for the growth of plants on the earth and we also use ground water and we draw ground water from wells or by using hand pump so in many places the river water is purified for drinking purpose river water is purified means purified means children river water clean it's refined impurities to remove impurities from this water and make it fit for drinking purpose is known as purification of 
water. So these water are purified and stored in tanks and then it comes to our home. We get this purified water at home through tap. Rain is a natural source of irrigation for plants and crops. Irrigation means to water the crops and plants in the field. Rainwater washes away the dust and dirt from the leaves of the plant. So they look more green and clean. Plants look greener, fresh and more beautiful after rain shower, rainfall because rainwater washes away all the dust, dirt from the leaves from the plants and it looks very beautiful in rainy season you must see greenery everywhere so we all love rainy season see the picture of a peacock you must have seen peacock uh, especially when you go to the zoo or in uh, some park you must see dancing of peacock it's a very beautiful bird. Have you ever noticed the behavior of animal in your locality on a rainy day? Some of you might have seen a peacock merrily dancing. Yes, we all have seen peacock dance. It enjoys the rain and feels happy. Peacock is a bird that loves the rainy day and it dances and we all enjoy the dance of peacock as this bird is very beautiful. Its feather is very beautiful. So we all love to uh, see dance of peacock. You can see the beautiful picture of rain. And now come to the next natural source of water that is snow. Have you ever been to a hill station during winter and seen the snowfall? Children, I know many of you must have seen the snowfall when you go to the hill station with your parents. The snow falls as small white cotton like flakes. Trees, roof of the houses and the hills get covered with snow. You can see in this picture the roof of the house, the street, the tree, the mountain all covered with snow. It seems a white sheet to cover everything. It is indeed a beautiful sight. Snow is a major natural source of water like rain. Snow is also major natural source of water. In winters, there is normally heavy snowfall on the mountains. During summer, a part of this snow melts and changes into water. In winter, there is heavy snowfall and snow get collected over everything. And when summer comes, season changes. When summer, during summer, a part of this snow melts and changes into water. This water flows down the mountains into the rivers and the lakes. The water which is formed by the melting of snow, it flows down into the river and the lakes. So children... This, these are the two topics for today, rain and snow, the major natural source of water. See the beautiful picture of snow. It's a glacier or iceberg. You can see. This is indeed a beautiful sight. The snow covers trees, street, everything. 
and a void sheet you can see it's indeed a very beautiful sight now come to the classwork children i hope you understand these two topics very well rain and snow the natural source of water now come to your classwork from this chapter first one is defined ground water defined means you have to write what is ground water you have just read uh, a part of the rain water goes under the ground and this is known as the ground water you have to write this question about ground water and second one how is ground water useful you have just read how is ground water useful just write one or two points of this question and show me during your period and this is your class work for homework children i am giving you your favorite picture you love to draw picture i know and uh, this is the picture of a rainy day you can imagine a rainy day and draw picture you want anything you want like a uh, peacock dance or uh, you are going to school with an umbrella anything a house what you want you can draw a beautiful picture of a rainy day this is your homework and you color it thank you children have a nice day